Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this video and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, Power BI report. You must have uh, seen the uh, the report page image on the thumbnail. So we are going to create same report and uh, the data set that we are going to use is basically Mintra's catalogs data. So we'll be using that data set and we'll try to create a report based on that. And uh, let's let's begin. So the file that we are basically going to use is a CSV file. So first of all, I'll click here on get data text CSV and Mintra products catalog double click. This may take some time and simply load the data. All right. Now let's let's view the data that has been loaded into the model. So uh, I'll just simply click here on the table view or data view. And this is the data set that we have. So we have different columns. The very first column is product ID. Then we have second column as the name of the product. Then we have product brand. Then we have gender, right? And the various values like uh, boys, girls, men, unisex, unisex kids and women. Then we have price in Indian rupees. We have number of images of the product and then we have a description of the product. So let's go back to the report view and let's begin with the report, right? So first of all, I uh, want to add a background and wallpaper. So I will simply expand the visualization pane. Then I'll click on format your report page, canvas background, browse and downloads. So this is the image that we are going to use for the background. Let's reduce the transparency to zero percentage. All right. So that's how you can add a background to your report page. And now let's say I want to add a wallpaper as well. So I'll expand this wallpaper section, browse. And then this is the image that we are going to use in the background. Transparency is already 0%. That's fine. So, all right. And uh, I'll be providing a link in the description box below. And through that link, you can download these images and you can use these images in your report, right? So now let's expand the visualization pane. And let's say I want to add uh, some slicers to this report page, some visual filters basically to this report page. So I'll just simply first of all click here on slicer and it will create a blank slicer for us. Now, since I do not want the filters pane, so first of all, let's hide it. So I'll just simply click here on view tab and then hide it from here. All right. So this is the blank slicer that we have created. Now let's resize it. Maybe that much is fine. All right. Now let's say on this particular slicer, I want to represent gender. So I'll just having this uh, blank slicer selected, I'll simply click here on gender and it will now the slicer will now represent the gender. Now let's say for this particular slicer, I want to, I basically want to format it, right? So uh, I will first of all, click here on format your visual. Then under the slicer setting, First of all, let's say I want to change the style and I want to make it drop down so I can select that from here. All right. And let's say I do not want a slicer header so I can remove the slicer header from here. Uh, then uh, under this general section, let's say we do not want a background as well. So I can simply click here on general, then effects, and then I can change this background to off. And apart from that, uh, for the value section, uh, first of all, click here on visual. Then for the value section, we do not want a background, right? Or we can simply change, sorry, we can simply change the color of the background and uh, we can keep it, uh, let's say, hash A60418. All right, so this is the same color as that of our background. If I'll click here on the drop down. All right, now let's say uh, we want to change the color for uh, 
the font that is being used in the values. So having this slicer selected, let's click on format your visual and under this values, uh, you can change the font color from here. Let's keep it white. So now it's visible. All right. And we can change the font style as well. So having the slicer selected, I'll simply click here on format your visual values and let's change it to times new Roman maybe. And you can increase the size as well a bit if you want to. Let's keep it 14. All right. If I'll. All right. And uh, let's say we want to add a title to this particular slicer. So I can just simply click here on format a visual general change this title to on title and then write gender here. And we can change the color for this title as well. So let's change it to white and further increase the size. Let's increase it to 16 and let's keep it times new Roman and let's keep it italic. All right. So that's fine. And let's say for this particular slicer, we also want to add a shadow and border to this particular visual. So having this uh, slicer selected, just simply click here on format your visual general effects. And let's change this visual border to on. And let's say we want to change the color for visual border and let's keep it white. And let's say for shadow, we want to change the shadow to on and let it be black only. All right, we can maybe reduce the size for the font for the values section. So I'll just simply click here on the slicer. And from here, we can further reduce the size. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So this is a slicer that we have created to represent the gender, right? Now, let's say uh, we want to create a similar slicer where we want to represent the color as well. So I'll simply click here on the slicer, control C, control V. I'll move the second slicer and I'll keep it, let's say here. Oh, we'll have to reduce the size. So let's delete the second slicer. Let's reduce the size of the slicer first of all a bit. All right. Select the slicer, control C, control V move the second slicer and let's keep it here. All right. And let's say on the second slicer, since we want to represent the color. So having the second slicer selected, I'll remove this gender from the field bucket and I will select this primary color and we will have to change the title. So click on format your visual general title and maybe we can write color. All right, fine. So this is the second slicer that we have added to the report page. Let's say uh, on this report page, we want to add uh, two more slicers. And on those slicers, let's say we want to represent the number of the images and product brand. So we can just simply click on any one of them. Let's click on gender, control C, control V. Let's move it here. All right. And let's say for this slicer in, in this third slicer, we want to represent, let's say the product brand. So we can simply remove this gender from the fields bucket and we can simply click on product brand. And from this title section, general section, we can change the title and let's name it as brand. All right. Now let's say we want to add one more slicer. So I'll just simply click here on the slicer, control C, control V. I'll move the second slicer and we'll keep it, let's say here. And in this fourth slicer, we want to represent the number of the images, let's say. So I'll just simply remove this product brand from the fields bucket and I'll click here on number of images. And then we'll have to rename the, we'll have to rename the slicer. So we can change the title. Simply click here on format your visual, general, title and let's write number of images. All right. All right. Uh, 
now let's say we uh, want to represent the product id and the price along with the product name right and for that purpose we will be using a multi card visual that is that this visual multi row card right so uh, what i'll do i'll first of all just simply click here on the blank area on the canvas and then i'll simply click here on multi row card and this will add a blank multi row card for us let's place it here and we can further increase the size okay so we will try to keep it over her hand i hope she'll not get offended anyway so on this particular uh, multi row card visual we want to represent the product id product name and the price of the product in indian rupees so uh, we having this particular card visual selected i will just simply first of all click here on product name then we will click on price and then we have uh, the product id let's say and we do not want the product id to be summarized so i'll simply click here on the drop down and i'll change it to don't summarize all right now uh, let's format this visual that we have created right so first of all having this particular visual selected i will click here on format your visual and for the cards we do not want blue color we will be using white color so first of all let's let's choose white from here i'll be changing the background color in a while so that will change doesn't matter so we want white first of all let's change that so uh, let's let's click on general effects we do not want a border so change this border to off all right and now for the uh, for the category labels as well we do not want this black color we want white all right anyways we do not want the category labels so i'll just change it to off maybe all right no issues or you can have them as well if you want to right you can just simply uh, like for example if i'll change this to on then in place of uh, sum of price let's say you want price to be written so you can just simply click here on add data to your visual and you can change it from here double click and maybe we can remove this sum of price price inr is fine all right and for product id product id is fine now let's say for the values which are being represented we further want the color to change so just simply select this multi row card format your visual call out values let's change it to white and maybe you can keep it italic if you want to and let's say we want the font to be times new roman only so that's all for the cards as well we can change the font style and we can keep it times new roman all right and anything else all right so for this card visual as well we can add a shadow and a border so i'll just simply having this multi row card selected simply click on format your visual general fx change the visual border to on let's keep it white and we can add a shadow change the shadow to on and let it be black colored only all right so if let's say we select any gender let's say we want to know about the products for men so we'll just simply click on men and now let's say for a for the color we have a specific choice let's choose black so the products will get filtered let's say there's a brand that you want to select ellen soli let's say so for this particular brand we have only five images that's fine and this is the product id and that's the price so in this manner you can view the catalog and you can uh, create report pages like this uh, as as you've seen just now that like we have created the one we have created so uh, we have created this power bi report uh, in which you can select various uh, values in the different slicers and then you'll get to know about the product that you have available accordingly right so uh, this is the representation of the mintra catalog data set that we had so i hope this video was helpful we'll meet in the next session till then thank you bye bye stay tuned for quality content on my channel
थैंक यू